Hi guys, it's me, Julia. Is it really me? Yes, it is. After a very long absence, I'm back with another video. I'm so sorry. It's taken me so long to get a video up. There's just been so much going on. Um, and I thank everybody so much who's popped in on Instagram and popped in on Facebook just to say hi and to, you know, show your concern. It really means, it just means, it means so much to me. And if I was truthfully, you know, if I was completely honest, I got to tell you, um, this is basically all I want to do in my life and my life is not allowing me to do this right now and it's very very frustrating just been having so many issues with filming and setup and lighting and editing and then uploading and the internet in the house is just driving us crazy every time we go to do something which is in the evenings everybody else in the neighborhood is on at the same time and they have a label for it they call it congestion in the nodes and basically it just means we're paying $200 a month for shitty, oops, crummy service. And so we were just really frustrated. So it's just been really hard trying to get my life to give me a moment to sit down, film a video, and then get it up on the gosh darn computer. So anyway, I'm, I don't mean to drop excuses all over the place. I just thank you so much for uh, hanging in there and new subscribers hello welcome I can't believe I'm still getting new subscribers it's so amazing welcome to the insanity uh, yeah so I'm gonna jump in with uh, my current favorites I'm too late for July favorites I'm too early for August favorites so we're just gonna call it current favorites and it's things that I've been loving since I started counting which is in June around my birthday and um, yeah okay so we're gonna start off with a shampoo system and this is the living proof perfect hair day shampoo and conditioner it's expensive it's $29 each so it's $60 worth of hair care products here but I have had it since June and I kind of use it I mingle it in with two other um, shampoo and conditioner systems and I just what I really love about this is whenever I use it my hair just feels really kind of soft and natural like it did when I was a kid and before I started dyeing it and before I started processing it and putting all the stuff on it it just leaves your hair feeling really soft and natural and um, it's really really nice and if I say it's worth the $29 then I think that makes it a good product because if you know me you know I do not like spending lots of money on well anything but I will spend money on something if it works very well and I think that those work extremely well so definitely worth it next up is a little combo and this is the banana boat summer color self tanning lotion that I picked up in Ulta when I was in the States um, just before my birthday in June and I don't know why I keep saying my birthday in June, but this is when I bought all these products and I've been using them all summer, so I can really give you an idea of whether or not I like something. Anyway, this to me is goof-proof self-tanning, and I need that because if you know me again, you'll know that I stay away from this stuff because it's nothing but bad news for me. I get streaks, I get bald patches, I get missed pieces, you know, I just, I'll go out and people will be looking at me funny and then I'll get home and realize there's a big orange stripe down one part of my leg and the rest of my leg is completely white. So I just stay away from self-tanner completely. But this banana boat one is really goof proof. I don't think it's for, you know, hardcore tanners. I just think it's for those of us who want something that's easy, gives a nice light kind of color. Um, I have light medium, so it's really kind of natural looking. It's not too brown, it's not too orange, it's just kind of a nice kind of warm golden color. But I think the real kicker is using one of these, which is a tanning mitt. And I've only seen these when I was in the States. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't looking for them, but they had it right with the tanner in Ulta and it just helps so much. Um, it just kind of disperses you know, the product really evenly puts it on a not too heavy a layer, just gives a really nice light application and helps you um, spread it out and just kind of helps the product go farther and just really, these two together, just completely goof proof and I really like them. This is the Enspa Jojoba and White Jasmine Body Butter and this is available at Walmart and they have, it's from England and they've got two kind of product lines they've got more of a bath and body line which is where this comes from so they've got body washes and um, body butters and body lotions and then they also have some skincare and you're gonna see another skincare item uh, in, a, in a moment and the body products are 
$7.95, I think, $7.95 or $8.95, and then their skincare stuff is $15.95. So the price point's actually pretty good. Uh, but I've tried some of their other products, but this one particular product is just amazing. So it's the Body Butter, and what I love about it is the smell. It just stays with me all day. It's like a, it's not really a florally, it's like... It's a little bit of a, a floral with vanilla and a little bit of like sexy kind of cologne -y, so muskiness in it. Oh, it just smells so good. And um, can you see how much I've used? I've used quite a bit of it. I just keep slathering it on. It's full of ingredients that you're not going to like, um, things that are difficult to pronounce. It's got some parabens in there. I don't care. I just love it so much. And somebody's going to come in and interrupt my video. Oh, maybe not. All right. This is the N-Spa Radiant Flash Serum, an instant natural luminous skin glow. So it looks like this. So the idea is you're supposed to use this as a serum before you moisturize. I think it's before you moisturize. Um, yeah, apply the serum all over your clean face and follow with makeup. You can also apply this over makeup for an instant pick-me-up anytime during the day. I just love this. I don't really necessarily like it on its own. I don't wear it as a serum. What I do is I mix two parts of my foundation into one part of the Luminize of the, the uh, Radiant Flash Serum. And what it does is it kind of thickens up my foundation a little bit, helps the foundation glide on my skin easier, and it just kind of smooths over any kind of roughness or any kind of dry patches that I have and I find that it really helps my foundation sink into the skin and look like it's part of my skin uh, because of my dry skin and like any rosacea that I have I find a lot of times my foundation and my concealer just kind of sit on top of my skin and don't look very nice this mixed in with my foundation helps everything glide on and helps everything soak into the skin it just I don't know, it just changes the texture of the foundation, just helps it glide onto the skin and sink into the skin and become one with my skin. So I love that. Um, and with that, this is the only foundation that I've been using for about eight months. I love this. Done. I'm done looking for foundation. I'm done trying expensive foundation that I don't like. I'm done trying cheap foundation that I don't like. I love this and I have Tanya Burr to thank for it. It's, I may have mentioned it... No, I probably haven't. I may have. I may have mentioned it in the spring. It's the Rimmel Matte Perfection Light Radiant, Light Perfecting Radiance Sunscreen Foundation. And this is sadly only available in the States, but the trade-off is we have the Wake Me Up Foundation. They don't. I just, yeah, this is really good. So it's just a nice, I'm wearing it today, nice kind of medium coverage, really nice finish. I don't find it too like I don't find it too radiant it just gives a really nice satin finish to the skin and the color match is really good and unusual for Rimmel because usually I have a really hard time with Rimmel because their foundations tend to be too dark love that and these two combined holy grail just I feel good in foundation when I use these two together love it I cashed in 500 of my Beauty Beauty Insider points at Sephora um, at my birthday when I did some Sephora shopping and I got the Bare Minerals kit and in it came a little um, bronzer in the Skinny Dip and this blusher which is in the Natural High. So this is, I think this might be the lightest um, bronzer that they have in the Bare Minerals line and it's just this really nice kind of light peachy bronzer but what I love about it is it has almost kind of like a little bit of a red tinge to it so it actually is the same color that my skin goes when I get sun on it because I don't tan I kind of go from pale to burnt so this kind of gives you that warm look without being too um, or looking or red looking it just it's just really nice and it's light enough that it doesn't look like whoa you got a lot of bronzer on but I just really like that so I will get the full size of that when I run out of this but I've been using it almost every day for the entire summer and I still have so much left so and then the what is this the natural high is just this really kind of nice it's almost like Nars's orgasm but it's oh just so nice and warm I really like it. 
And again, I'll probably purchase that full size, even though, Lord only knows, I don't need another blush. So everybody's been going crazy for the Too Faced Naturalized palette. I had that already in my collection, but I wanted another little palette. And as I was looking at that Naturalized palette, I came across the Boudoir Eyes palette. And it's in the same type of tin, which I think is great. Nice and thin, not too big and puffy like the old um, cardboard boxes. And very nice for travel. But what I love about this palette, and I've got a full review on it that I'm going to be uploading soon, so I won't go into too many details. It's just that nice kind of neutral eye palette, but it's in a nice kind of mauve um, taupey color story so just really nice to wear if you have pale skin and maybe you don't want to wear too many like goldy browns and like really kind of warm tones it's it's just a different alternative to the brown neutrals I really love this palette and I pretty much use that every single day all the way through June all the way through July and then I started thinking I really want just a nice neutral brown tone palette that works well with my fair skin tone and please leave um, suggestions in the comment section because I'm having a heck of a time finding one that has everything that I'm looking for. Then I found this Wet n Wild uh, five pan palette in the Naked Truth. So this is actually quite nice. I do like it, but I'm looking for something a little bit, I don't know, these kind of come across, you can't really see it on, on the camera, but they've almost got like a, a gray or kind of khaki undertone to them. So I've been using this pretty much all the way through the month of August. Um, I do love this nice kind. Of, so that's about as warm as I want to get, but I love the fact that there's kind of this taupey shade in there as well. It's got this really nice kind of matte brown um, highlighter or defining shade. It's got a very nice vanilla matte shade, which is great. And then it has the highlight shade is kind of like a grayish white so all in all I think this is a really nice palette I'm wearing it today but uh, yeah I'm looking for something that's high-end as well that kind of has the same color story so if you have any suggestions please let me know and now I have eyeshadow on my fingers and I didn't bring a wipe game-changing change my life product tubing mascaras if you have watery eyes if you have sensitive eyes, if you're tired of having fallout and smudging and no matter how many waterproof formulas you use, you've got panda eyes by midday. And if you're also tired of having to scrub the bejesus out of your eyeball area at the end of the day with a heavy duty makeup remover, you've got to get on board with tubing mascaras. Um, instead of putting like product on your lashes they basically coat your each individual lash with this kind of weird polymer material and all you have to do at the end of the day is get your um, eyelashes wet with warm water. I use a warm face cloth and just pull away and all these like little stringy tubes come off and it's amazing. It's totally game changing in my opinion. Um, it's, it's so good. You don't need... I just love it. You don't need um, eye makeup remover to get it off and it just lengthens your lashes, gives you some volume depending on which ones you use and I don't have to worry about it. I just put it on. I don't feel it. I, my eyes never get irritated. I don't get sponging underneath. I don't get fallout flaking. I just, it total game shit. Love it. So my sister-in-law gave me a free sample of Blink Mascara which is um, quite expensive it's $26 and they usually come in like a two-step process so you've got like a primer a white primer and then the mascara goes on top she didn't have the primer so she just gave me the mascara so I have not been using this with the primer but I know that they're like $26 a piece so it's quite expensive um, $26 on its own is for a high-end mascara is you know pretty typical but um, if you're buying the two-step it's kind of expensive so uh, this is the Blink Mascara Amplified. It's more volumizing than the Blink, the original Blink. It's great. I think this is what I'm wearing today. Am I? Yes, this is what I'm wearing today. Uh, you can't really get too close. But it allows me to finally be able to put mascara on my bottom lashes, which I've never been able to do before because you always get like... Um, and it's great. I just love it. 
I can't even say enough about it, but it is, it's got like just a regular brush on it. This is a, a sample size, which is 12 ounces, I think. Not 12 ounces, 0.12 ounces. Yeah, 0.12 ounces. So a, a really nice kind of luxury um, sample. I love that. It's a little bit difficult to get a hold of. Apparently it's available in Sephora, but I have not seen it there uh, in my Sephora. But I wanted to try something a little bit cheaper, so I went online, and it's actually hard to find. I feel like tubing mascaras, I heard about them a few years ago, like they were going to be the next big thing, and then I just feel like they never really made it mainstream. So I was only able to find one through the drugstore, and it's the L'Oreal Paris Double Expend, Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. And this one and the Blink were the only ones that I saw that actually said tubing on on it so there may be other ones that I'm missing but because they don't see tubing then I'm not exactly sure and I'm not going to spend money on something unless I know so this is the um, L'Oreal double extend and it has the primer on one end and then the mascara on the other end and again just a regular bristle brush head um, and this is $11 here in Canada, so much better price point than the $26 just for the mascara for the blink, and you're getting the primer and the mascara in one. So they're a little bit different. This is more lengthening. It kind of, you know, because that's the idea with the tubes is it's going to extend your eyelashes. So this is more lengthening. So it doesn't really give you a lot of volume. The blink amplified is more um, that kind of fluffy, volumized lashes. You gotta get you some tubing mascaras. Just totally amaze balls. Love it. Ah, oh, love you. How have you, where have you been? All my life. Okay, this video is so long, my hair just fell. So we're gonna finish with lip products. And it's been kind of a crazy lip product summer, I'm not afraid to admit it. I've been going nuts for lip glosses that I can wear on their own. And I really like that. So to me, a lip gloss has to have a little bit of um, color to it more so than you know what I mean like it's got to have color payoff not just look nice in the tube like you actually have to be able to see it on your lips and these Maybelline color elixirs there goes my dryer have really fit that bill these are more like a liquid lipstick or a cross between a lip gloss and a lipstick but I have about seven of them just went kind of crazy and my three favorites for this summer have been this nice bright pink in fuchsia flourish which is a really nice bright pink and then this is apricot breathtaking apricot which is this really pretty it looks more orangey in the tube than it actually is when you wear it it's more like um, a pinky coral and it's got a little bit of shimmer in there there it is there beautiful coral for um, summer without being too orange and then this I when I got it I thought mm, this is caramel infused and it looks a little bit brown but when I wear it it's just it's this nice rosy tone and it just I'm not I should put it on right now so you can see it's the perfect nude for my lips it's just because my lips are darker in their natural tone and this just works so well and doesn't look make me look too pale or anything like that it's like if you're thinking nude lips as your natural lip color then that's what this is so those are my three favorites of those love that if you watch glam life guru you have heard about this lipstick ad nauseum it's the wet and wild just peachy 903c and i finally caved and bought it because i've been hearing people say Oh, it's the best nude it looks fabulous on everybody it's just great it's a buck or whatever it is so I bought it and it's part of their mega last line so it's like a matte finish and it's very long lasting blah 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 so I bought it and I gotta tell you I put it on right away I freaking hated it I thought it was how can this be considered flattering for anyone if you see it's like an orange tone and they're all like oh it's just perfect peachy and it's just like a pinky peach and it flatters everyone and blah blah it just looks amazing and i put it on and it was so matte 
and just so dense and so opaque and I looked like this horrible 70s mannequin it was just gross I was like how can anybody like this this is just horrible oh well it was only a dollar and I kind of put it aside and didn't think about it again then I decided to give it one more try and what I did was I put because it's so drying I put a lip balm on underneath and then I put this on and it made me fall in love with it uh, when you put the balm on it just kind of again like diffuses it makes it a little bit glossier it's not so heavy and then it goes on your lips and it really is the perfect kind of light peachy nude color it's so amazing how different it is when you put it on plain and when you put it on with a lip balm underneath it's amazing I totally get it now but when I first got it I thought what I was going to go to California and I was going to confront Tati and I was going to say, <laughs> you know, how dare you tell me this is amazing? And then I tried it with the lip balm and it was totally amazing. I love it so much. So there you go. And that is probably the most epic video I have ever filmed. So I thank you for sticking around as long as you have. I thank you so much for sticking by me all of this time and continuing to subscribe and continuing to watch my videos and leave comments and interact with me on um, Facebook, which I'm not on very much. I'm a bad girl. But Instagram, I'm on there all the time. So if you have Instagram, check me out there and I'll put my thing down there so you can see where I am. Yeah. Okay, so thanks so much everyone for watching and uh, fingers crossed that I can get this edited and uploaded in a timely fashion. And that's all I have to say. Bye everyone!